back to mathematics class in today's class we are going to learn about shapes first of all we will recall something that we have learned in the last class right now i am going to show you some different shapes and you have to identify the name of the particular shape okay are you ready good tell me students what shape is this do you know what shape is this yes very good this is a triangle which shape is this this is a triangle right then tell me the next shape what is the name of this shape have you seen it before yes very good this is a rectangle which shape is this this is a rectangle now i'm going to show you one more shape guess which shape is this what is the name of this shape do you know my dear children yes very good this is a circle which shape is this this is a circle now i have one more shape with me tell me which shape is this can you tell me yes very good this is a square which shape is this this is a square very good you have named all the shapes correctly now my dear children you have to find out different objects with its shape such as if you have a measuring cup what shape is it it is a circle okay then what is the shape of this white board it is a square right like this you have to find out different objects at your home with its shape all right and you have to write it down in your mathematics notebook now my dear children in today's class we are going to learn more about shapes okay so what we are going to learn we are going to learn about straight lines and curved lines what we are going to learn we are going to learn about straight lines and curved lines in previous class we have learned about a point line line segment and ray let us revise what is a point do you know what is a point yes a point is nothing but a dot a point is nothing but a dot it has no shape this point has no shape it doesn't have any dimensions to okay then we used to show or denote this point different english alphabet we can say point s point p then point o point r okay we use these capital letters to show the point you can also point it as point r point x point y point z etc what is a point a point is nothing but a dot does it have any shape no point don't have any shape now we have the next line what line what is a line yes well when many points the place to close to each other to form a line okay these points when we place them close to each other they form a line okay this line has no ends it can extend on the both ends okay it has no limit but it has no particular length it can extend on the both side right if this line don't have break okay so it is called one dimensional figure the line is one dimensional figure because it don't have
Wait, it only has length. Okay? Then we can write line as by denoting two points present on here. Point A, point B. So we can write it as line AB. How we can write it? Line AB. On made of these two letters, we make a line and we write it in this way. And we read it as line AB. Right? Okay. Then the next point is line segment. My dear students, this line segment is part of a line. It is a part of a line. And this line segment has two points. One is starting point and one is end point. It has start point as well as end point. So it has a particular length. It cannot extend toward any side. Okay? Sir, this line can extend toward the both side. But the line segment cannot extend toward the any side. Because it has two end points. That is starting point and end point. Okay? We write it as segment PQ. How do we write it? Line segment PQ. And we read it as segment or line segment PQ. Understood? Okay. The next is ray. It is also part of a line. This ray has starting point and it doesn't have any end point. Okay. This is X and this is Y point. It has a starting point but it don't have any end point. So it can extend toward the one end. Okay? This line can extend toward the both ends. The line segment cannot extend and this ray can extend toward the one side. And we write it as ray x y. And we read it as ray x y. Do you understood? Okay, very good. Well done. Now my dear children, we are going to see different types of straight lines. What we are going to see? We are going to see different types of straight lines. So here we have different types of straight lines. As there are three types of straight lines. That is horizontal lines, vertical lines and slant lines. These are the three types of straight lines. Which are there? Horizontal lines, vertical lines and slant lines. What is meant by horizontal lines? Can you tell me? Yes, very good. The slipping lines are called horizontal lines. The slipping lines are called horizontal lines. Okay? We can draw this line from right to left or from left to right. Okay? We can draw this line left to right or right to left. Okay? Then we have vertical lines. These vertical lines are nothing but the standing lines. Vertical lines are nothing but the standing lines. Okay? So these vertical lines are called as standing lines also. Okay? Or these standing lines are called as vertical lines. Okay? We can draw these lines from top to bottom. How we can draw? We can draw them as from top to bottom. These are the vertical lines. Okay? Then third type of straight line is slant line. And these lines are nothing but the slope lines. Okay? These slanting lines are nothing but the sloping lines. Okay? They can have slope for 
the right side also what the left side also these are the sliding lines all right my dear children which are the three types of lines or which are the three types of straight line horizontal lines vertical lines and slant lines horizontal lines are slipping lines we can draw them from left to right or right to left okay then here we have vertical lines vertical lines are nothing but the standing lines okay and these standing lines or vertical lines we can draw from top to bottom okay then next is slant lines slant lines are nothing but the slope lines okay then next point is curve lines which point is next next point is curve lines these lines are not straight right these all lines are straight but these lines they don't or they do not straight so we call them as curve line the lines which are not straight they are curve lines okay these lines are not straight okay understood we call them as curve lines the lines which are not straight they are called as curve lines okay so you can draw all these horizontal lines vertical lines slant lines and curve lines in your mathematics notebooks okay so here you can see that here we have one vertical line and here we have one horizontal line okay so these are the straight lines right what we have learned in today's class we have learned about straight lines how many types of straight lines are there yes very good there are three types of straight lines that are horizontal lines vertical lines and slant lines all right my dear children okay now we will see next point in the next session till that time thank you bye bye take care and you have to write down all these points in your mathematics notebook all right children